Monsignor Chido from St. Anthony's. Welcome to the Heart's Journey. I'd like to begin by sharing uh, an excerpt from Acts of the Apostles, uh, chapter 1, verse 12. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip, Thomas, and so on. All these devoted themselves one, with one accord to prayer, together with some women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. So the disciples were gathered together in the upper room, and they were preparing for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And so it had been nine days since uh, the ascension of our Lord into heaven. And so we're talking about a nine-day novena. Novena is an important word uh, to remember. It means nine. It comes from the Latin word novem, which means nine. So the apostles for nine days were preparing for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And so also, uh, as Christians, we have this custom that goes uh, on throughout the centuries from the earliest days of the church to pray for nine days for a particular purpose. The most powerful novena nine days of prayer is precisely the, the nine days between the Ascension and Pentecost. And so there are many prayers that we can say asking that the Holy Spirit might be poured forth into our lives in a new and more dramatic way uh, during the nine days from the Ascension to Pentecost. And I encourage people to do that. And you can find online sometimes some very beautiful prayers and novenas in honor of the Holy Spirit. Uh, there are also many other novenas that a person can pray. Uh, of nine days uh, to our Blessed Mother, to a particular saint. Uh, and then one of the most favorite ones, at least during these last uh, several decades, is the Novena of Divine Mercy. The Novena of Divine Mercy uh, comes from the experience of a, a young Polish nun in the 1930s who uh, had uh, the blessing of being visited by an app the apparitions of our Savior. And our Savior, in these apparitions, asked uh, St. Faustina, now St. Faustina, then Sister Faustina, to promote a deeper appreciation among the faithful in divine mercy. That God is a merciful God, not a, not a wrathful God, not a vengeful God, not a God who wants to push us down, but a God who wants to lift us up and help us experience the power of his love. And so St. Faustina at the uh, inspiration of Jesus, has uh, urged people throughout these, these decades, and Pope John Paul II was a great promoter of, of this novena, is to pray from, uh, from the Feast of Easter to the following Sunday, actually beginning on Good Friday, going through Easter, Easter week, and concluding on the Sunday after uh, Easter, which was traditionally known as Low Sunday, which is now called Sunday of Divine Mercy, to pray a prayer each day uh, for a particular purpose so that God's divine mercy might be experienced by individuals. And I have here a, a pamphlet called the Novena of Divine Mercy, and uh, it's chaplet. The chaplet is really just the rosary, and what we say on each decade for the rosary, each bead is a certain prayer, uh, and it, it goes like this. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And we repeat those, those words as we go along throughout the rosary. Each day during that novena, beginning again on Good Friday and going over Easter, Easter week to the Sunday after, each day we say a cer certain prayer, a certain intention, and their, uh, their beautiful meditations for each day. So we are focusing our attention not just simply on ourselves, asking God to have mercy on ourselves individually, but praying uh, in love for other people and asking that God's mercy might be experienced for and by them. For example, the first day we pray for all mankind. And so, uh, Novena, do not underestimate the power of nine days of prayer. As the scripture itself uh, points to in the, in the book of Acts, there's a power in preparing for special celebrations. What it really means is that during those nine days, we ask the Lord to open our hearts and minds more completely to his infilling so that we might be emptied of ourselves and filled with him in the blessings that he brings us. Don't underestimate the power of the novena because God in his mercy wants to fill us once we've been emptied of ourselves. God bless you.